Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A-Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 11, an integration question. Given that the integral from 2a down to a of 10 minus 6x dx equals 1, find two possible values of a. Right, okay, well let's go ahead and do the integration for this. Plug in your 2a and your a, set it equal to 1 and see what we get. So it's the integral from 2a, a of 10 minus 6x dx. Uh, now do the integration, it'll be 10x minus 3x squared. And we're going to plug in the values of a, 2a and a and set this equal to 1. So from here we're going to get, um, so the first part of this we plug in 2a and we're going to get 20a minus uh, we're going to get 4a squared when we plug that in, so it's going to be minus 12a squared. And then we're going to take away uh, 10a and minus 3a squared, and this equals 1. So expanding the brackets here, we're going to get 20a minus 12a squared minus 10a plus, from a double negative, 3a squared equals 1. So simplifying this, we're going to get minus 9a squared uh, plus 10a um, minus 1 equals 0. So times 3 by minus 1 to make the problem easier. And then factorise into two brackets, and we're going to get 9a and a. And it's probably going to be a minus 1 and a minus 1 situation happening here. So a is going to equal either a ninth or a is going to equal 1. Okay. Right, so the next part of this, uh, labeling all axes intercepts, sketch the graph of y equals 10 minus 6x from 0 to 2. Okay, that seems easy enough. Uh, start at 10. Uh, from 10 minus 6x. Uh, the next coordinate, x is 1, will give you a 4. So 1, we're going to get a coordinate of 4. This is going to be coordinate 0, 10. And the next coordinate, we're going to get plugging in 2, we're going to get a minus 2. So this is going to be the coordinate uh, 1, 4. And this is going to be the coordinate 2, minus 2. So this is our expression. Okay, so that's the answer to part B. Uh, label the axis, uh, label all axis intercepts. So we need to label this intercept here. So that's when the y coordinate will equal 0. So 10 minus 6x equals 0. So 10 must equal 6x. So 5 over 3 is the value for x here. Or in other words, 1.6. 5 over 3, 1.6 recurring. 0. Okay, with reference to the integral in part A and the sketch on part B, explain why the other value of A found in part A produces a solution to which the area under the graph between A and 2A is not equal to 1, states whether the area given is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so what we've got going on here is we've got um, a value, our a value was either one ninth or one. Um, so we have either a value here at one ninth, and then the two a value is just going to be uh, two ninths. So what we're going to have either is this area here is going to be uh, an area of one, or when a is one, um, two a was equal to two. So in which case here, we're going to be working out this area and this area here. Now, you can see here that this region from here to here, this gives um, an exact value of 1. So when a equals a ninth, um, the area... the area of the graph equals 1 
and when a equals 1, and more importantly 2a will equal 2, what we have is some area that is going to be on top of the x-axis and on the bottom of the y-axis. We will get um, area on top of the x-axis which will come out at a positive value and area underneath the x-axis which will actually give us a negative uh, effectively a negative area value so that when you do add them together yes you'll get one but in fact the area here is going to be greater than one so the total area found here is greater than 1. Okay, so if that makes sense, so what we've got here for a is 1 and 2a is 2 over a, we will get an area straightforward of 1 here, but for this part here where we're going from 1 to 2, we do have a crossover on the x-axis intersection point there, so we're going to get part of this area here, this is going to be positive, and this area here is going to effectively be integrated as a negative value. When you do add them together, yes, you will get a value of 1, but in terms of the summations of the areas, that is going to be more than 1, if we think of all area always being positive. Okay, so that's 10 marks for that question.